Let's read. Let's read some cards. I got back out my um, green ethoth tonight. Um, I mean, I've been using it nearly every day. I'm still going to say I'm winning. Hashtag winning. <laughs> Hashtag winning. Uh, so, May 25th. You know, I might not have done every little thing that I said with the May Tarot Challenge, but still proud of myself because it's been a video a day. And if I missed a day or two, it, in rea uh, to be honest, I did do videos that day and for personal reasons one way or another. And I forget now, but I decided not to upload them. <laughs> I probably did something really embarrassing and I was just like, screw it. <laughs> I did it, and I know I did it, so I'm still on track for the May Challenge, my um, modified May Challenge for myself. So today, we're going to do, we're going to old school it back to the beginning of May, and do a just one question with two or three cards, probably two cards. Um, what can I do over the next week to let, to help let go of the past? I mean, to... To have a question that, how can I let go of the past, is so big, you know, like, <laughs> the tarot isn't going to give you one card and say, do this, and you're healed for eternity. So I feel like it makes more sense to say, let's let's focus on just the next week. Maybe, let even, let's even just say, what can I do over the next few days to, to help let go? That's the word. That's the word. Not even heal. Not forget. Let go. Let go. Stop consuming my soul. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm ready, so let's just do it. Let's uh, right there. I, I, I'm, it feels right. It feels good. It feels good. What says the sun? It is the sun. <gasps> Ugh. Okay. Um, fixing my nail. Let the light in, Shane. So, I was just saying earlier today, because I made a video earlier today, that I was like, nope, that one is not going up. That was dark. <laughs> that was too much. Um, and I was saying that, like, sometimes when I think about the past and, like, certain resentments and stuff I have that I'm very good at keeping, you know, hanging on to, but it feels like sometimes... Um, it, like literally there is just some blackness reaching into me that is just trying to you know hang on to like my heart in there it's just oozing around my heart and it's trying to, i know dark right but that's you know that's it's, it's how i feel sometimes and um especially when thinking about resentments and i just want to rip it out and you know stop stop doing that to me like um and so it's very uh i mean great card and, you know, we could go deeper, but why? Let the light in. Be the light. Let it shine from me, you know? Be, you know, all those things I want to be. Yes, I want to, I want to, you know, I want to be in touch with my shadow side and my darker elements. Uh, you know, a huge fan. Huge fan of that. Um, but I do too much of that, and I forget that I also need to project, you know, I need to project healing and I need to project growth excuse me and I need to project that attitude you know and, and you know and that that will help me you know it's it's in there somewhere and it's sealed very tightly and it's hidden in little crevices and you know and I need to let it out because if I don't let it out it's just going to keep just going to sit in there and kind of rot you know, and it's just going to get darker and darker, and I need to let that out. You know, do I need to draw another card? Do I need to draw another card? I, I'm not going to. Do I need to draw another card? I'm like, do I not want to draw another card because this is so spot on perfect, tells me everything I need to know, or do I not want to draw another card because I'm afraid of what's gonna, what it's going to tell me needs to happen um, so that this happens? <laughs> yeah, I, I haven't struggled with that in a minute. Like the conundrum of do I draw another card or not? We can look at the shadow. 
What is going on with that shadow? Ooh, failure. Seven of Pentacles. Let's um, look up good old, let's just look at Crowley. Let's look at what Crowley has to say about the Seven of Pentacles um, as failure. Because that's not what we see it as in the, the Rider Waite, is it now? So what does he, what does he have to say? It might be interesting to read because he has little sections. I think it's this book. Yeah, the four fours, the four sixes. Let's look at the four sevens. I'm right here anyway. And I highlighted one line in the four sevens. Let's see what it says. It says, the four sevens are not capable of bringing any comfort. <laughs> Each one represents the degeneration of the element. Its utmost weakness is exposed in every case. The utmost weakness of the pentacles is being exposed in the seven. Good to remember about the sevens. Now that tells me a little bit. That tells me quite a bit. Um, but let's go to a seven of desks. It's really short. The number seven, which is Natsak, has its customary enfeebling effect, and this is made worse by the influence of Saturn and Taurus. The disks are arranged in the shape of the geomantic figure Rubus, Rubius, the most ugly and menacing of the 16. I don't know what that is. I'd have to look. C5 of Cups. We're not going to right now. The atmosphere of the card is that of blight. On the background, which represents vegetation and cultivation, everything is spoiled. The four colors of that sack appear, but they are blotched with angry indigo and reddish orange. The discs themselves are the leaden discs of Saturn. They suggest bad money. Bad money. Okay. Shadow. Yes. Okay. A feeling of, uh, <laughs> yeah. Spoiled. My foundations, you know, like, uh, yeah, I need to get rid of that. I need to let that shit go. Just what I was saying. Like, I feel like all the darkness is just encroaching, you know, and like sometimes, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to get rid of it as much as I want to. So, yeah, sir. Um, I mean, that even looks like it. This deck, you know, like, I don't know. This deck creeps me out sometimes. It has every time I've done a reading with it. So, um, really need to, bam, 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 get out of there. Um, really need to get rid of this. Focus on um, getting rid of those foundations, those little seeds in my body, in my soul. Um, work on freeing them, letting them loose, you know, turning them into light. Great reading. Um, maybe I'll try to keep those two cards out. If I use this deck tomorrow, I will simply take them out from another Toth, 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 and, um, have those somewhere where I can see them on a daily basis. Might help. <laughs> That's it. Less than 10 minutes today. Hurrah, hurrah. Huzzah. Don't know. Good night, guys.